All right, let's head down now for the trophy presentation. Wamenjika. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional owners of the land on which we gather this afternoon, and I pay my respects to the Elders past and present. I extend that respect to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders peoples that might be here with us this afternoon. Can we please start by firstly thanking these four amazing players for their wonderfully entertaining match here at the 2024 Australian Open Women's Doubles Final. We are joined today by Chief Executive Officer of Kia Australia, Damien Meredith, Tournament Director, Craig Tiley, Tournament Referee, Wayne McEwen, and eight-time Grand Slam Champion, Sam Stozer. Would you please welcome Damien Meredith from Kia Australia forward to say a few words. Thanks very much, everybody. I just want to uh, congratulate all the ladies on a fantastic game. I think uh, the four showed uh, great spirit, and uh, I love watching doubles because of the team aspect. So, well done. Uh, there can only be one winner, but uh, to the four players, thank you very much. Uh, well done. <coughs> this is Kia's 23rd year of sponsorship of the Australian Open, and uh, it gets better and better each year. So. Uh, I'm glad you're all here enjoying the doubles. Uh, tonight's game will be a ripper. Thank you very much. Thank you, Damien. I would now like to invite forward Wayne McEwen to present the chair umpire from the women's doubles final from Australia, Thomas Sweeney, with a special gift. Well done, Thomas, and thank you, Wayne. I would now like to ask Sam Stozer to present the trophies to our finalists, who will then say a few words. Congratulations to Ludmilla Kichinok and Yelena Ostapenko, our 2024 finalists. Uh, I would like to thank everyone uh, for coming out today. It was a pleasure, great atmosphere. Thank you so much. Also, I would like to congratulate the girls uh, on a great tournament. Um, you play good, you play amazing. Great tournament for you guys. Also, I'd like to thank my partner, of course, for playing with me. We've had a great trip, a great Aussie swing. I think we'll keep going and we'll get the, uh, another trophy next year, I hope. <laughs> uh, also, I'd like to thank our team uh, for uh, being there for us the whole time, helping us, uh, doing uh, their best. Thank you, guys. I would like to thank uh, also Tennis Australia, for Craig, Tiley for an amazing tournament. Uh, every time is uh, such a pleasure to come here. And uh, I would like to thank all the sponsors, uh, organizers. Uh, thank you guys for making this tournament uh, unforgettable. Slava uh, Ukraine. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you girls. You had a great week. Congrats to you and your team. It was, you were playing really well today. Uh, second of all, thanks guys for coming throughout all the week. It was a great week as always here in Australia and the atmosphere was really nice. Thanks for that. Of course, thanks my partner for playing with me. I think as she mentioned, we had a great uh, great three tournaments and uh, it's just the beginning of the year. Hopefully there many more finals for us and uh, winning one as well. <laughs> uh, and of course, uh, thanks my team, it's not always easy with us, but uh, thanks for always supporting us and uh, being by our side and 
yeah, just just for your support. And uh, thanks all the sponsors, Craig, uh, Donna, Pam, uh, all the staff who made this uh, event possible, all the sponsors. It's always a pleasure to come here, and hopefully next time we get the trophy. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, ladies. And now Sam Stoza will present our trophy to our 2024 Australian Open Women's Doubles Champions, who will also ask to come forward and say a few words. Would you please congratulate Shet Suwet and Elise Mertens. Sponsor the Kia and the Guojiao uh, 1573 and the Emirates, and of course the Victoria government supporting us uh, for this uh, wonderful tournament for us to be here. <laughs> <You're dead. laughs> well, first of all, congrats, girls, to a great tournament. I mean, it was a really tough final. Second set was really close. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a really great match for us to, you know, we really had to stay focused all the time. But uh, thanks everyone for coming today. Really appreciate you coming for doubles. I really enjoyed it today. And of course, thanks to our team too for the last couple of weeks. I mean, we've been, we've been working like years. So uh, thanks. <laughs> And of course, the ball kids and everybody else involved. I mean, without you guys, it was not, not possible to have such a great tournament. Thanks, Greg, for everything. You know, it's, it's becoming better every year, so it's, it's always a pleasure to come back. Thank you. There's something here that's yours. One more time, would you put your hands together for the 2024 Australian Open Women's Doubles Champions, Jet Sue from Chinese Taipei and Elise Mertens from Belgium. It's now time for the players to come forward and have their photos taken. We will see you here tonight on Rod Laver Arena for the men's singles final between Yannick Sinner and Daniil Medvedev. So a wonderful end to what has been a great women's doubles championships here at the Australian Open. Elise Mertens and Su Wei Shea. Too good today. Over Ludmilla Kitchenok and Yelena Ostapenko. And Danny, it's fair to say they're unorthodox. And the speech was even unorthodox <laughs> from, from Su Wei and Elise. Oh, George, I was just going to say, as disciplined as they are on the court, a little bit, not as much synchronized with the speech, but having said that, what a women's doubles tournament this has been, some incredible matches we've witnessed throughout the two weeks, and uh, they definitely deserve to lift the trophy above their heads big time, because they were the best team in the tournament. I still feel like they got some work to do with synchronizing here but they're getting there <laughs> and what a moment for both of them Lizzie Mertens has won it here with Arena Sabalenka back in 2021 and now it's Suwei who's won everything in the sport uh, yet not the Australian Open but finally gets her name on this stunning trophy and another wonderful story as far as the age goes a little bit. We had that on the doubles court last night, and now Suwei, at the age of 38, being able to win her first Grand Slam trophy in doubles. Yeah, 38 years of age, and has announced her retirement in singles after losing here in the qualifying. 
will firmly set her sights on lifting big trophies all year around the globe. The world's media here. Just making sure they get that perfect shot that goes out to all the global television networks and newspapers and media all around the world. Definitely a nice problem to have, finding the right position to please all the photographers, all the media.